You know, it's interesting how we look at the scripture. We try to figure out what it is exactly that we're reading and how we do that and how we look at it is important because when we see the scripture, is it prophecy? Is it historical narrative? Is it a parable? What is it exactly that we're actually looking at? When we consider Psalms chapter 1, we recognize that we are reading something that is absolutely amazing. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 1, as we said in the first segment, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of the sinners, the wicked and the sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scoffers. Scoffers is really interesting because you can look that word up and it's fascinating. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in the law does he meditate day and night. Day and night. He meditates in that law. And I find that absolutely stunning because as we look at this passage, we see that you don't choose to do all of the things that it says, the counsel of the wicked, the way of the sinners, nor the seed of the scornful. You, you choose not to do that. But you choose to devote yourself to the law of the Lord. Now, that doesn't mean that you spend your whole day doing nothing but reading through the Bible, but you spend a significant part of your day. And what do I mean by significant? I mean 15 to 20 minutes a day. That's what you spend. Now, many people spend an hour a day, but only 15 to 20 minutes a day. That's what we're talking about. Meditation, like we said on the last segment, is very, very interesting. But then the Bible says something interesting. It says, he is like a tree. He's like a tree planted by the streams of water. A tree planted by the streams of water. Have you ever noticed that a desert does not have trees? Have you ever wondered why? Well, the truth is that the water feeds the tree and the tree grows. So he's planted by the stream. The stream. Yes, he's planted by the stream. He's like a tree planted by the streams of water that yields fruit in its season. When it decides, it yields fruit in its season, not the season. And its leaf does not wither. In all he does, everything he does, he prospers. Beloved, this is amazing because we see here that the tree is supplied by the stream. The stream flows down from the throne of grace we can see the stream in Revelation. We see the stream in Ezekiel. We see this stream that flows down from heaven that keeps us strong. If we are planted in that stream, God will give us the supplies that we need to bear fruit in our season. And so this is what the Bible says in verse 3 of Psalms 1. When it says, well, he is like a tree planted by the streams of water and that yields fruit in his season and its leaf does not wither. We know from Revelation that the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. So the key is when you're planted in and meditating on the word of God, you're tied into the stream. Beloved, we need to get in the stream today. We need to get tied in. May God bless you as you continue to read the scripture on this day.